This is the latter house. We call our grounds place of refuge. We are located on the premier hotel hill, Mokola Ibadan. We meet every Sunday, usually for two services. The first service starts at 8 a.m. and the second at 10 a.m. But currently, we only run the 10 a.m. service due to the exigencies of the times. On Wednesdays, we meet for prevailing prayers and Bible study at 5.30 p.m. You're welcome to join us in these programs. The word of the Lord to us this year is from 2 Corinthians 1.20. It says, For all the promises of God in Him are yes, and in Him, Amen. To the glory of God through us. NKJV. Welcome again to the latter house and to our year of yes and amen. Good morning to you wherever you are watching us this morning. We are reaching you live from the altar of God at the upper room of the latter house in Ibadan, Nigeria. It is our Sunday service and I have great assurance this morning the power of God is in, in our midst, and it will reach you wherever you are placed or located this morning in the name of Jesus. So it's my great pleasure to wake up to service as we go along this morning. The hand of God will touch you in Jesus' name. It's time for prevailing prayers, and we have some requests from our brethren this morning. The first one says, God should stop any link of death to any member of his or her family. Second request is asking for God's protection and financial provision as a travel that their car must not break down on the way to and fro. And that God will make them to be at peace with everyone they will meet at home in the course of their travel. The second request this morning has also, also three. The one is that Lord, glorify yourself in his or life this week. All that all are standing depths will be paid. He's asking, he or she is asking for the Lord to financially meet up with the payment. The second request is on that every hanging mantle of blessings hanging over the person and the, and the household, that there will be released before the close of the year 2020. And the third request from this person is that the person desire to testify over his or MD's wife that the Lord will bring her to a place of bringing forth safely. And the Lord will do it in the name of Jesus. The third request from one of my members, okay, this morning also says, I want the house to pray with me for favor as he or she goes out this week to make contact for a workshop that's taking place next week. That there will be encouraging response and turnout. Praise the Lord. Those are our requests this morning from our brethren. And the Lord says, whatever, whatever two of you shall agree upon concerning here, we are in heaven. I'd like us to rise on our feet this morning as we begin to commit our, mem our brethren to God, that as they have come to God, that the Lord will attend to them in the name of Jesus. I'd like you to pray to God this morning. Ask God, if you believe in God, that God does things when you ask him, ask him for your brethren this morning. That one of them says he's he or she is traveling. That as they, go, as they go, as they travel, that the protection of our God will be upon them. That there will not be a breakdown of their vehicle kidnappers will not encounter them, or they will not encounter any, 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 any kidnapper on the road. They are asking that, that the, anyone they will meet at home, when they travel, that they, there, will, there will be peace. Let's ask God that as they go in peace, they will come back in peace in the name of Jesus. That the presence of God will go with them. That everywhere they get to, the light of the glory of our God will shine light for them. That, they will not, that no darkness will be able to overcome or overpower them in the name of Jesus. They are going as a family, that they will not come back separately in the name of Jesus. I hope you are praying this morning. That as they go as a family, our God will protect them. will cover them with, their, with his wings. That the Son of our God will be available unto them. In the name of Jesus. One of our brothers is asking that the Lord, there are deadlines to meet before the end of 2020. And the person is asking for financial provision. And we know that our God is the owner of the country upon a thousand hills. Silver and gold belongs to our God. Let's ask God this morning. That as that person has come openly to God to make a, a demand for financial supplies, that the windows of heaven will be opened over, 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 over him or her, and God will supply and meet these things in the name of Jesus. I hope you are praying this morning. I get to pray this morning. Depth can lead to, can lead to shame. Unmet, unmet deadlines can lead to shame. 
that this our brother has come to, to God this morning, that the Lord will rescue this brother from every form of shame that the depths can bring to him or her. In the name of Jesus, I, I, I hope you're praying this morning. Pastor's asking that the Lord will glorify himself in his life or our life. Lord, your child has come. Ask God that the Lord, because your child has come to you. All, your, all that the child is asking for is for you to show forth your glory in the, in, in, in the life. Ask God this morning. Lord, we ask you this morning that you manifest your glory in this life, Lord Almighty. In the name of Jesus. That every mantle of, every mantle of blessing hanging. Every mantle of blessing hanging over this household that there will be released. Lord, there will be released, Lord Almighty. There will be released, Lord. Let there be a shaking that will cause, that will bring forth a release in the name of Jesus. As they cast their cares unto you this morning, the Lord, you will minister care to these ones today in the name of Jesus. Let's commit to everyone that's online, that has joined this service online, that the Lord will meet them at the point of a need also. We can't see them, but they can see us, they can hear us. That Lord, we pray today that everyone that's, that has hooked up online this morning to join, or, or, to join unto this service, to be part of this service. Father, we pray that they will not be only watchers alone, they will be, benef they will be beneficiaries of the, of the blessings of this morning in the name of Jesus. You also that you're here in person. Ask God today, I'm here face to face this morning. Do something new in my life, Lord. Something new, something new, something new, something new. Something new, Lord Almighty. Something new, Lord. Because I'm here face to face. I'm here online. I'm not watching you, God Almighty. I'm hooked to you. Let your power work in my life, Lord, in the name of Jesus. One of our members asking that every door, every door of death that they, they are, they are over his family, that the Lord will shut. Let's ask God that even in our assembly, that the Lord, that the Lord will shut every door of death, every door, every door of death in the name of Jesus. That we will not celebrate this Christmas of 2020 in mourning. As an assembly, Lord, that's our desire this morning. I hope you are praying. I hope you are praying that this year will not end with us with mourning. Every attempt of the enemy to, to, to make us to conclude this year in mourning. Lord, we shut the door against it this morning. We confront it, Lord. Because our covenant that we have is not the covenant of death, it's a covenant of life. Lord, we will close this year in life, Lord Almighty. We stand against death this morning. We confront death this morning. We say, Lord, death will not have an expression of missing the name of Jesus. Every grip you will lose this money, Lord. Every grip of death you will lose this money, Lord. In the name of Jesus. I hope you are praying. We will reject money this morning. We will reject money. Every form, any form of money. We say no to them this money. Our portion is to rejoice in you, our God. Our portion is to rejoice in you, our God. Everything contrary to this, Lord, we say no to them. Lord, you will reject it for us in the name of Jesus. I hope I pray tonight, this morning. I'd like us to bring our prayer to a close. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Lord, as I bid us to do, your children they have come. They have come to the open to declare to the world that you are the Esha die. There is nothing beyond you. They have brought all, they have brought, they wrote it down, they presented it to you openly. We say, Lord, you will respond to them openly in the name of Jesus. Every request of this morning, Father, Lord Almighty, your here will act into our cry and they will receive your attention in the name of Jesus. Every debt you will pay. Lord, every life that is hanging, you will restore. Oh, yeah, yeah, Kasoto Kababa. Because you are a restorer of life. You told Abraham that you will come back to him in the form of life. 
You made a man that was 99 to become like a man of 25. Therefore, there's life in your, in, in your hands. There's life in your custody. Lord Almighty, we pray this morning that every area of our life where there, we need restoration and every soul that where restoration is needed, you will extend the hand of life to us this morning and restore life to us in the name of Jesus. As an assembly, we have joined our faith together to cry to you that 2020 will not end for us in morning. Razatakabu we are saying to the old world that we believe in you. You prove yourself to Jarius. Lord, you will prove yourself in, also in our midst in the name of Jesus. Every attempt to make us to conclude this year in morning, Lord, you will frustrate this morning in the name of Jesus. Have your way in our midst this morning, Lord Almighty. Everyone that has hooked up onto this service online, let, the, let your power be felt in such homes in the name of Jesus. Wherever everyone is as joined to us, we say this money will not be a money of watching for them. It will be, a, will be a money of experience for them in the name of Jesus. Let your power reach unto us. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Jesus. 
Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name.
Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus, you silence me. Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus. above all names. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. Amen. Please, let's be seated. Good morning, church. So, we'll be reading, as usual, our pastor's message for the week. Um, I trust we all have our clarion calls with us, and I believe it will be beamed online for those watching or joining us online. The title of today's message is, Behold, It Is I, 
Jehovah Sabaoth. Therefore, my people shall know my name. Therefore, they shall know in that day that I am he who speaks. Behold, it is I. Isaiah 52, verse 6, New King James Version. From life's first breath, which comes after a fierce struggle to leave the womb, till God calls him or her home, man is in warfare. That is why we need a powerful warrior to always fight on our side. The Lord of hosts, Jehovah Sabbath, is that warrior and wants to visibly demonstrate various aspects of his divine capability this month as he declares unequivocally, Behold, it is I. My friend, the name of God you know determines the aspect of his divine providence you can appropriate at any given time. That is why during this series, I will endeavor to introduce you to a few of the many names of God to whet your appetite and ignite a hunger within to see him show up in ways you may never have thought possible. Today we will explore his name, the Lord of Hosts, Jehovah Sabbath. The word hosts refers to a mass of people organized for war. Thus, Jehovah Sabbath refers to God as supreme commander of angel armies. The first mention of his army is found in Joshua chapter 5. He arrived at the plain of Jericho with the people of Israel and wrote the promised land and had to confront the massive wall of Jericho. Suddenly, he saw a strange man and inquired on whose side he was. In verses 14 to 15, the man responded, and he said, Nay, but as captain of the host of the Lord, am I now come? And Joshua fell on his face to the earth, and did worship, and said unto him, What said my Lord unto his servant? And the captain of the Lord's, Lord's host said unto Joshua, Loose thy shoe from off thy feet. For the place whereon thou standest is holy. And Joshua did so. Alas, Joshua would not be alone in the battle, but was to come, that was to come. My friend, heaven has a fully mobilized army ready to be deployed into battle on your side right now. Hallelujah. Jehovah Sabbath is the commander in chief and he is your father. See how Amos, in chapter 4, verse 13, King James Version, describes the Lord of hosts. For lo, he that formed the mountains, and created the wind, and declared unto man what is his thought, that maketh the morning darkness, and treadeth upon the high places of the earth. The Lord, the God of hosts, is his name. There are three things I want you to learn about Jehovah Sabbath from this verse. Number one, Jehovah Sabbath formed every mountain. For lo, he that formed the mountains. The word formeth means to squeeze something into shape, much like molding. So when you confront any obstacle or face dire circumstances that would look like taking you down, relax. The Lord of hosts squeezed them into shape, and since he is your father, you will still be standing long after those mountains are gone. Hallelujah. Amen. Now you understand why David declared confidently to Goliath in 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 15, New King James Version. You come to me with a sword, with a spear, and a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of armies of Israel, whom you have defied. Minutes later, Mount Goliath was a plain ground. The invisible host who walked on the wall of Jericho to make it fall down flat and neutralize Goliath are still deployed for your cause today. Amen. Number two, Jehovah Sabbath intervenes with sovereignty. The Lord of hosts makes morning darkness. Understand this, my friend. Your problem exists in time. They are time and season dependent. Israel was held captive for 430 years in Egypt. But when time was up, 
the man of war intervened spiritually, supernaturally to terminate their captivity in a spectacular fashion. May your current mammoth looking situation, maybe, sorry, maybe your current mammoth looking situation was not here last year or even yesterday. Trust the Lord of hosts to ensure they will not be there tomorrow. Amen. There shall be no carryover to crossover. Amen. He specializes in changing seasons. See Daniel 2, chapter 2, verse 21, King James Version. And he changed the times and the seasons. He removed kings and set up kings. He gave wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. He will bring a time of refreshing to replace a season of oppression. Amen. He can replace a period of lack with another of abundance. For the woman with the issue of blood, he brought a season of well-being to terminate 12 years of hemorrhaging. Hmm. Number three, Jehovah Sabbath commands the high places. He walks upon the high places of the earth. There is no exclusive zone where his power is restrained. The armies of the Lord of hosts have control even over the camp and hierarchy of the enemy. That is why our Lord Jesus Christ is the head over all principalities and powers. So, if your current problem is rooted in the occult, remotely controlled from the high places of the earth, no problem, my friend. Jehovah's Sabbath will scatter them. Remember, Isaiah chapter 54, verse 15, New King James Version says, Indeed, they shall surely assemble, but not because of me. Whoever assembles against you shall fall for your sake. Amen. So, my friend, understand that no matter what you may see, hear, or feel, there is a divine army fully mobilized and already deployed by the Lord of hosts to fight for you until victory is achieved. He wants to exhibit himself to you in this season as Jehovah's Sabbath. Recognize and let him in. Amen. We'll take our announcements. Coming next. Good morning. We would like to welcome you to the latter house. Glory be to God. We also welcome those watching online. We are glad you could join us. The word of God to us this month is from Isaiah chapter 52, verse 6, KJV. Therefore, my people shall know my name. Therefore, they shall know in that day that I am he that doth speak. Behold, it is I. It is imperative that we continue to maintain social distancing and obey all Nigeria Center for Disease Control regulations. The spread of COVID-19 is real and there's a resurgence facing the world. So, we need to protect ourselves and our loved ones. You will need to wear a clean face mask throughout the service and everywhere on the premises. You must also sanitize your hands before entry to the auditoriums. We have zero tolerance for defaulters. Don't let your guard down just yet. Our next service will be a Bible study and prevailing prayers on Wednesday, December the, 7th, December the 16th at 5.30 p.m. Nigeria time. It will be both face-to-face -face and online. Our Facebook page is www.facebook.com slash TLH expression. Give your written prayer request to the ushers before the start of service or send ahead by email to pastor at the latterhouse.org. You can also fill in your prayer requests anytime on our website www.thelatterhouse.org and it will be taken at the next service. Today is Workers Appreciation 2020. It will hold on the children's floor 
immediately after service. In preparation for FAST 2021, from January 1st, Wednesday Workers' FAST is cancelled for the rest of the year. Build up your body. It's time to give our tithes and offerings. Bank transfer details are on the screen. The account is Guarantee Trust Bank account number 044862-3282. Again, 044862-3282. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, God of all grace, Bless our sacrifice of love to you as we give now and send your blessings to all areas of our lives and to our land where we need your heavenly intervention at this time. In Jesus' name, amen. We thank you for worshiping with us today, especially if this is your first time. If you're in any of the auditoriums, please identify yourself to an usher so you can collect the gift we have for you. We bless God that you made it and look forward to you joining us again on Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. Nigeria time. Until then and beyond, may the Lord bless and keep you. Amen. Jesus, you're still enough. Keep me within your love. My heart will sing your praise again.
Father, we want to thank you this morning. Every life standing here today and the people who are joined online are a living proof of your faithfulness. And we return all the praise and the glory unto you. Father, we ask that this hour is turned over unto you. Bless our time together this morning. May we never return the same way we have come. And may your name be praised. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Please have your seat in God's holy presence. I'd like to welcome you to today's service. And I'd also like to welcome the people joining us online. The same grace, the same power of God that is available in our midst this morning will reach out also unto you in the name of Jesus. And there shall be proofs that you have met with Jehovah God this month in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's go to our passage for the month, Isaiah in chapter 52. I'd like to read the first six verses. Isaiah in chapter 52. I'll be reading from the authorized King James Version. And he says, Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city. For henceforth there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. Shake thyself from the dust, arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the bands of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. For thus saith the Lord, ye have sold yourselves for north, and ye shall be redeemed without money. For thus saith the Lord God, my people went down a full time into Egypt to sojourn there, and the Assyrian oppressed them without cause. Now therefore, what have I here, saith the Lord, that my people is taken away for north, they that rule over them make them to howl, saith the Lord. And my name continually every day is blasphemed. Verse 6 and the last verse it said, Therefore my people shall know my name. Therefore they shall know in that day that I, I am he that thus speak. It is I. May the Lord bless the reading and the hearing of his word in our heart this morning. In Jesus' name. I'd like you to look at the, at, the, at, at, the, at the situation of the people of God at this time. The, the story was not just written for the fun of it. What was written here depicts or shows the situation in which the children of God are at this very moment. And many, 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 many times, believers, yourself and myself, you know, many, many a time we find ourselves in situations like this. Many, many times we find ourselves in some circumstance that is far, far, far beyond what we can handle. 
that was the situation in which the children of God found themselves at this time. They were under serious slavery. And to add insult upon injury, the Assyrian king would come and also, you know, oppress the people. And it was as if there was not going to be any deliverance for the people of God. Perhaps you are going through any situation that looks similar. And you are looking at it that look, hey, I have been in this situation for quite some time. I don't know what that situation is. But this morning I want you to know. The same God that reveals his name to his people at that time. And that delivered them from every affliction and every oppression of the Assyrian king. That God is still alive. And today is going to command your deliverance in the name of Jesus. We struggle to liberate a lot of times. And the more we struggle, the more we land in that trouble. The more we struggle. I need to pray, I pray. I need to fast, I fast. And the more you do all of those spiritual warfare, it's as if the situation remains adamant. That was the situation of the children of Israel at this time. And sometimes we overrate the extent and the power of the enemy. We overrate the ah. If it is Herod, don't go near him. I know God is a deliverer, but in this kind of situation, I doubt it if, 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 and you continue to say if, 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 and at that point we begin to rationalize. Hey, well, I know God delivered the children of Israel. I know God, you know, shut the mouth of lion for, for Daniel. I know God was with Joseph in captivity. But in this my situation, look at the economy situation of this land. Well, let me just manage. At least I will make heaven. You will not make a heaven in struggle. You will make a heaven in prosperity. In the name of Jesus. I say you will make a heaven in prosperity of our God. In the name of Jesus. You know, at that point... I'd like us to look at one of the names of our God this morning. I'd like us to know, you know, one of the names. The Bible says, my people shall know my name. And when you know a name, name carries a lot of weight. Name carries a lot of power. And this morning, God is saying, my people will know my name. I don't know what name of God you knew. And I don't know if that name had been working for you. But this morning, I want us to look at one situation. We look at a particular, you know, a man that we all revered in the Bible. And you know, the people of Israel at this time, the Bible said they sold themselves. So this morning, even if you are the one that went into that situation ignorantly, or you deliberately marched with your feet into that situation, and as soon as you got there, you begin to lament and regret. Today, there shall be liberation for you in the name of Jesus. I said, God of heaven will set you free in the name of Jesus. I'd like us to look at the life of Abraham in Genesis chapter 17. Genesis 17, I want us to look at one of the name of God I dread a lot. The Bible says, and when Abraham was 90 years old and nine, the Lord appeared to Abraham and said unto him, I am the Almighty God. I am the Almighty God. The God that possesses all the power. And at this time you know the situation in which Abraham was. He already had Ishmael. But that was not the fulfillment of the promise of God for him. 
So God appeared to him and said, Abraham, I am the Almighty, the God that can do anything. And sometimes we look at the trouble and the trouble of Allah begin to, you know, express themselves as if, as if they are the Almighty. God is saying to you this morning that I am the Almighty, not that debt. I am the Almighty, not that sickness. I am the Almighty, not the failed situation and experience you had had. Jehovah God is speaking to you this morning. I am the Almighty. No other man can bear that name. No situation can stand in the place of that name. Jehovah God is coming to you today that I am the Almighty. I can do anything. It's a walk before me and be thou perfect. I am the Almighty. I want you to look at that situation and begin to address that situation, that adversary, that negative circumstance, and begin to address him, it or, or him or whoever or whatever it is that look, you have, been, you have been in my life for so long, but this morning, you know, I'm speaking to you that Jehovah God is almighty. You are not. You are not. You are not. Not the depth, not the sickness, not the disease. Not the adversary. Jehovah God he is the almighty. And for God to prove that almighty. Like I believe that God is going to prove himself in your life and situation. When you get to verse 5 of that situation. God now spoke to Abraham. He said neither shall thy name anymore be called Abraham. So the first thing that God did was to change the situation and the name of Abraham. Whatever it is that is in your life that needs to be changed. As you are listening to me knife and direct this morning. God of heaven will begin to alter for your favor in the name of Jesus. God said you are not going to be Abraham again. Excuse me. Could it be that that was the hindrance to the fulfillment of the promise of God for Abraham? Could it be that the situation that you are passing through is what has prevented the manifestation of God in your life or in your finance or in your business? Could it be that because you have been there for long, you do not even have the strength to tap into the inexhaustible resources of our God and the power of Jehovah. This morning God is saying to you, whatever needs to be changed, whatever that needs to be changed will be changed. I'm not speaking to you in my own capacity. I'm talking to you on behalf of the almighty God. The God that brings something out of nothing. The God that called those things that were not as though they were. It doesn't matter for how long. Abraham was 90 years old here. And you remember how for how long God has promised. And it was as if that promise would not come to fulfillment. Do you find yourself in some situation this morning? God has spoken to you about your home. God has spoken to you about your children. And the more you see the, the result they bring home, you begin to wonder. You begin to rationalize. You begin to say, ah, hey, with what I am seeing, this morning I'm speaking to you on behalf of Jehovah. He has sent me to you to tell you whatever that needs to be changed in your life, just for the sole purpose of the glory of God, that thing will be changed in the name of Jehovah. And your glory, the glory of God shall be revealed in that situation. The glory of God shall be revealed in that business again. The glory of God shall be revealed in your home. Somebody is not listening to me this morning. Hallelujah. Whatever. So God said, neither will your name be Abraham again. Whatever it is that has hindered the glory. Whatever it is that has hindered the blessing. 
Today, the God of heaven will arise and he will begin to change for you in the name of Jesus. I say it will change for you in the name of Jesus. Every negative identity that you have carried for so long. Abraham was, was to be the father of many nations, but at this time, he is still called barren. Sarah could not produce. The promise was there, but the evidence we see stand at the contrary to the word. But on the long run, the word of God will never fall to the ground. And this month is saying, you are going to know my name. You will know me as the Almighty. So every negative influence, you know, that has robbed you of the covenant blessing, every negative influence, those are the things that the Lord will begin to deal with from today. And I can assure you, by the time you come to crossover, you will look behind you. You will say, where are this trouble? Where was the Red Sea? Where is the grave? They are no longer there because the Lord has come to you in the course of this month. And your life will begin to change. Your situation will begin to change. You do not believe me this morning. I'm speaking the word of God. The only thing that God used to create the heavens and the earth. It doesn't matter if those things were not in existence. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All it needs, all it requires is for God to speak a word. The centurion says, just speak a word. You need not come to my home. Just speak a word. And that word that your life needs, that word will hit you today in the name of Jesus. That word will come to you today in the name of Jesus. So God altered and said, don't worry. You will now be called Abraham. Whatever it is that you need for that glory to show. Don't wait until, until the 1st of January 2021. After all, okay, I'm going to fast, you know, 31 days in the month. Beginning from now, from now, God wants you to begin to enjoy the fulfillment, you know, of his promises. Our God is a promise keeper. And every promise he has made to you, he will fulfill in the name of Jesus. So Abraham's own was the name. I don't know what your own is, what has hindered the glory. But by the power of the Almighty God today, you will see them no more. You will see them no more. You will see them no more in the name of Jesus. I'd like you to pray one prayer here, just on your seat. I know there are matters. I know you know those things that have stopped you, that have stopped the flow of the grace of God, that have stopped the flow of the blessings of God. Would you in one minute talk to God and say, God, if you can change the name of Abraham, the name that has hindered and prevented the glory, Father, this morning, I want you to arise by the power of your almightiness and let that be a change. Lift up your voice and just talk to God while you are seated. Talk to him while you are seated. The glory must be revealed. Whatever it is that has hindered it must give way. Whatever it is that has hindered the glory must give way. Whatever it is that has hindered that admission this morning must give way. And you will get admitted into the university of your choice. In the name of Jesus, whatever it is that has hindered the blessing from flowing, whatever it is that has hindered the grace from, from flowing, this money must be slaughtered. The God of heaven wants to be glorified in your life. And in the name of Jesus, he will be glorified in the name of Jesus. He will be glorified in your life, in your situation, in your home, in your finance, in that job. Oh, concerning your health, in the name of Jesus, concerning your future, whatever it has prevented and hindered the glory, this morning, we bring them to the altar of God and we slaughter. In the name of Jesus, the God of heaven will be glorified again. We'll be glorified again. We'll be glorified again. We'll be glorified again. We'll be glorified again. Thank you, Father. 
In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The second name of God that I want us to look at this morning has been dealt with by the head of pastors, and that is Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts. The Lord of hosts. There are some trouble that speaking in tongues will not, will not remove. There are some challenges that you just, oh, Father, I thank you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Oh, I come against. There are some trouble that doesn't speak English. They don't understand grammar. They need the intervention of the Lord of hosts. And this morning, the Lord God of heaven will arise and fight for you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Exodus chapter 3, you know, God came to Moses in Midian. Far away Midian. Far away Midian. From Egypt. When he had the cry of his children in Egypt, God already stood up to look for a way to liberate his people. And that is why I want to assure you, in that situation that you are going through, the Lord God of heaven is there with you. Don't, don't, don't think he has abandoned you. He is there with you. And he's already looking for way. So he sat the entire Egypt. There was no person. And then he went to Midian to go and speak to Moses. And as he got to Moses in Exodus chapter 3 verses 9. Let me, let, let's hear what the Lord told him. Exodus chapter 3 verse 9. He said, now therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me. The tears you shed in your bedchamber, the tears that flow, that you cannot speak with any man. God is saying, I see, I see, but hold on, look at what I'm going to do. He said, and I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppress them. In verse 10, he said, Come now, therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, with, I mean, the people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. When you go to verse 7, he said, And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt, and I have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows. And in verse 8, he said, And I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians. And we all knew that for God to deliver them out of the oppression and the affliction of Pharaoh, God had to stand as the Lord God of hosts. Whatever power has held you bound, the power of God, the glory of our God will arise on your behalf today. And the Lord of hosts will fight for you in the name of Jesus. I said the Lord of hosts will fight for you in the name of Jesus. If he can fight for the whole nation, you and I, we are just so small. <laughs> if he can deliver and confront Pharaoh, the God of heaven will confront every situation that has held you bound today in the name of Jesus. He said, and I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of that land unto a good land and a large, unto a land flowing with milk and honey, unto a place of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Perizzites. You know what God is saying is this. When I deliver you out of the oppression and the affliction, you know, I'm taking you into a, a land of blessing. I'm taking you into a land of silver and gold. I'm taking you into that place that your life will become fulfilled in the name of Jesus. And if you believe me this morning, that is what the Lord is going to do for you in the name of Jesus. What give me this assurance? He is the Lord of a host. One of our songs says, our God will stop at nothing. He will, he will climb any mountain. He will break down any wall. He will climb any mountain just because of you. <laughs> I mean, we are the apple of his eyes. 
So I want to see what will come and pluck us from the hand of the Almighty. So he will break any wall. He will climb any mountain just because of you. If he can go as far as Midian to go and speak to Moses, to come and speak to Pharaoh, God will go to any length this December. God will go to any length this December and ensure that your life is blessed beyond measure in the name of Jesus. And whatever it is that is standing in your way, the Lord God of heaven will remove today. And by crossover, I can assure you, you will have testimony. I am going to have testimony. I already have testimony. Hallelujah. And I can assure you, you are going to have testimony. That testimony will go through all of us in the name of Jesus. You will share your own. I will share my own. And Jehovah will be glorified. And together we shall enter 2021 triumphantly. If you believe that, stand to your feet and begin to give him praise. Give him praise because we have victory through the name of our Lord. Give him praise. He knows, I, he said, I know the thought that I have towards you, the thought of peace and not of evil. I know the thought. Don't look at your sin. He already paid for everything you have committed or the worst you will ever committed. You know, just, just look at the greatness of this God, the Almighty, the God that created the heavens and the earth. It's going to do you good this December. It shall be a December like never before. In the name of Jesus. We give you glory and praise our Father. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. to you. The Lord upon his face towards you and give you peace. Amen. that you have enjoyed this service with us and we hope that you will join us this same time next week.
For any inquiry and prayer request, you can contact us through the various channels displayed on the screen. Thank you and God bless you.